Hey everybody, welcome back to this Let's Play of City of Heroes. In this episode, we're going to be going over a quick rundown of, of controls, tabs, and uh, menus of the game. Uh, yes, I'm finally going to get a new video up. I think this is going to be the one. And if it's not, well then that just sucks. Anyways, we're going to just go with my main guy, Elpreet, since, uh, yeah, I'm Elpreet. And uh, we're just going to go over few quick things about City of Heroes overlay, uh, what what things do, what you need, to, just what you need to know before we get into any of the major gameplay stuff. I know that for some of you <coughs> who've actually been keeping up with what I've been doing, saw I actually did a failed uh, gameplay video, but uh, I quickly, quickly took that off after I saw how horrendously bad it was. This video is going to be much better gameplay-wise, or much better quality-wise, I should say. And, um, well, I, I probably should just say, wow, I am so sorry for, like, not keeping up with my own crap. But, um, I definitely want to get things back back and running. I finally have a full, full screen capture software that can handle uh, City of Heroes and, um, I think that I'll be able to uh, do just fine now. Alright, so we're going to go over a few things, starting from the left right over here where my mouse is sort of circling. We have, this is the chat bar, this is uh, where you communicate with other players in the game. Uh, multiple like channels, I guess, is what you would call it, will appear in this chat bar. Uh, you, and, you, and there are a couple different ways to change what channel you're talking into. Uh, one thing is clicking on the actual uh, word and uh, it, it comes with this drop down menu where you can either press a key or you can just click on whatever channel that you want to send into. Uh, broadcast is everybody in the zone, local is everybody in your immediate area. Uh, team is everybody that you're in a team in. Supergroup is everybody in your supergroup. Uh, request is everybody in your server, actually. Uh, friends is all of your uh, server friends. Coalition is uh, everybody, that's, everybody that's in your coalition. So a coalition is pretty much a group of supergroups. Yeah. And uh, the active tab is... Uh, like I think it's the last it's the last thing that someone said in chat. It will take that and uh, it will send into that one. But if if not, then don't quote me on that because I I never use really the active tab one. And then below here I have you see I have all these extra ones. These are all extra global channels that I've joined. And global channels are uh, extra channels that people create. That people and that other people join for purposes of uh, cross server and cross account uh, communication. So, if I'm in this global channel, I don't have to specifically be on Elpreet to communicate in it. I can be on any other of my characters, and I'll still be in this global channel, and I can talk to other people that don't necessarily have to be on that one character, they just have to be logged on to their account. And they, and uh, it, I think it's a really, really awesome way to stay in touch with people that uh, you want to keep in touch with is join global channels. But also, if we go up, we have, um, we have the team tab, which is you can set a search comment for when uh, people are looking for people to join a team, to invite to their team. You can put a search comment for yourself, and you can put like a, a label for yourself as far as if you're looking for a team, or if you're looking for a mission, or if you're not looking for anything. Not a lot of people use that search label thing, but it's there. Um, then we go to the friends tab. So you have the server friends tab. And the server friends tab is just that one particular character. It It's... Yes, the, it's for the one particular character that you want to friend, but their other characters won't appear when they log on. That's why if you click on this uh, drop-down bar and you go down to global, 
this is all the global people or just like all the all the people that you want you say hey this person is awesome I want to be like no matter what uh, account they're on I want to be sure I keep track of them and I have all these people and else it says what server they're on it says uh, what what uh, what character the character name they're on it says what that zone they're in, it says if they're in a team or not. So very, very useful to have global friends, especially if you want to keep track of keep track of uh, what character they're on and be able to message them no matter what what they're doing. You know, as long as they're in the game, I should say. Then you have a global ignore, so if you need to if you have some ass hat that's bothering you, then just put them on your Global ignores for like ignore. Then I got then the rest of these are just all global channels that uh, I am subscribed to. We'll say so. Uh, that's the fr that's pretty much everything that's in friends tab. And then the then you go to super group is everybody that's in your super group, and uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. There's not uh, too much I have to say about super group besides that they're it just shows everybody in your super group uh, there's a whole bunch of different ranks that they they can put up for your super group uh, I, mean, I mean there are a whole bunch of other stuff for super groups like bases and all that but base basics on this overlay here that's the super group tab then the next one is the email tab you can get e in-game emails a lot of the time you'll get in-game spam but they added a uh, they added a button for that so you can automatically ignore whoever the spammer is and there are also easy ways to clear your email, which, uh, if you need to know, just go ahead and send me a message or something. Um, then this this tab right here can make it so you can create channels, join channels, look for channels, and uh, make it so you can change what channel you're sending to. It's an interesting tab. Then the, this one, two, three, four thing are like your extra tabs. They, it's like having another chat tab, but making it so you can customize what appears in it. So like, I have this tab right here, this is the 3 tab, and I have a couple of my global channels here, so if anybody talks in that global channel, I don't have to necessarily be looking, I don't have to necessarily be looking at this left side here, I can just look at this little, this little box I have right here. Um, alright, if we go to the left, top left over here, we have the uh, tar targeting reticle and basically it shows uh, any targets that you have clicked on so if I click on this uh, enemy here it's called a nebel fire okay it is part of the fifth column group it has if I click on the health it has 125 health and how much endurance does it have it has a hundred endurance all right just like any other thing so uh, then right up here at the top of the screen, or the top of my screen, you can also you can change the position of all these. So see, I can drag where these where these things are, and you can act, you can customize uh, your overlay to however you want it to be. But I like it like this, and it's pretty standard. So right here, at, this is the compass, or uh, yeah, it's pretty much the compass. But uh, in the, the tabs below the compass so can bring up the map and you can look at either the zone that you're in or you can look at the map of the entire city but uh, mostly people just keep it in zone so they can figure out where they are within the zone and it shows a whole bunch it's, it shows the major things within the zone um, then the next one is the contacts one um, contacts are people you get like missions from and uh, they, they're the people that really uh, progress the story forward and you'll get a bunch of contacts as you progress through the game. Then you have the mission tab that uh, shows what missions you have and you can select particular missions that, you've ha that you have. You can have up to three at a time. And that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, oh, excuse me. Huh. Then you have the clues tab. Clues are a... Uh, clues are sort of small little knickknacks that the game gives you that uh, basically explains more things about the story, about the lore of